Uh, hello again. <clears throat> I get a lot of questions about the uh, uh, account statement and information that's on the account statement. So I'm just going to try to go over that uh, uh, pretty thoroughly, I guess. So you get to the account statement by clicking on monitor and then uh, account statements. Pretty simple. So if you do not see cash as your first heading here, there's a very simple reason. And that's because you have more than one account and you're looking at the total. So if I select total, then all I see is profits, forex, and summary. That's it. Um, I'm missing several others. My, my orders, um, my trades, and of course cash at the top. So to get that back, I just pick one of my accounts. I'm just going to pick my uh, margin account. This is paper money. And now I see I have cash. And then forex uh, order history, trade history, um, profits and losses, what could tell us. So the first thing, cash and sweep vehicle. Uh, you can see if I open it up, um, there's not much there. Why? Because it's only showing one day. So I can pick more days. Um, and I believe, this is, since this is my paper account, I haven't done a lot of trading in there. Um, and it looks like you can only go back 30 days, but that's not correct. You can go back... Uh, pretty far. Let's type in, uh, let's just say 99. And now you can see I actually have some uh, some trades going on in here from uh, last year. So here's here's a trade here. Uh, it was a vertical roll and it says sold. Here's the amount and so of course I collected a credit on that. Uh, it keeps a running balance on the right. Uh, I don't think the balance itself is as important as this other information, how much you paid in commissions and whether you uh, collected money here when it's positive or uh, you paid out money like this one where it's negative. So uh, you can change these um, the days to look back for. That's what this is basically. Uh, it says today or this many days back. Okay. Uh, while I'm right here, another nice trick uh, suppose you wanted to look back um, at uh, last year. You can click here on change dates and just put in some dates. You can put start dates, end dates. You don't have to just go from today back. Uh, so you can just look at uh, January 1st to December 31st of 2013 and you can see everything that's in there. Okay, so let's close this back up. Um, Forex, I don't trade Forex, but uh, if you did, it would be there. Order history, trade history. What's the difference? Order history has all of your trades, um, orders that were filled, plus um, orders that were canceled uh, or expired. I don't have any ones that were expired on here. So if I open those up, I can see um, all the orders that I placed in the past 99 days. And over on the very right, it shows what happened. Were they canceled? Were they filled? Uh, here's one that's expired. Um, so I guess it expired counts as a canceled order since I only see one canceled and one expired. Uh, what's really nice about this area here is suppose I had put in an order and uh, it was just a day order uh, like this one right here that expired. And uh, at the end of the day, it didn't get filled. So what I can do is I can come in here uh, the next day, pull it up, and then just right click on it and say create duplicate order. And I can resubmit that exact same order without having to uh, start from scratch. So that's, uh, that's pretty handy. Um, another nice thing in here is that it shows you, um, besides your net price, here is a vertical roll. You can see I collected a total of 15 cents. It actually shows you individual prices for each each leg, um, if you want to know that. Okay. Uh, profit and loss. Profit and loss will show you um, for the year. It will list all of your um, underlyings that you've been trading in. So so far. Um, even though it says 99 days going back this year, I've only been trading JCPenney and uh, PPG. That's it. 
Suppose I wanted to see what I traded uh, last year. I go back up here again to change dates and I don't have to pick January 1st to December 31st. I'll just pick um, the last day of the year, December 31st, and I'll make them both the same. December 31st, December 31st, and I'll hit OK. And now I can see every single um, equity, underlying symbol, whatever. Uh, there's even some um, futures on here that I traded uh, last year in my paper account. Um, a very useful column is this profit and loss year to date. If you don't see it, I'm not sure if it's the default or not. It's very easy to get it there. Just right click on any one of these headings that you see and hit customize and you can add in profit and loss for the year. Okay, just add it over there. So I'm not sure if that's there by default or not. So anyway, it shows you your profit and loss for each one of these for the trades for that year. So uh, there's that's that's my profit for Apple. Here's a loss on Amazon, etc. Go all the way down. And at the bottom, it shows you. Oh, sorry, I have selected totals on. Yeah. At the bottom, it shows you your total for the year, what you did. So that's pretty handy for uh, getting a year end summary. So, what else? Let's close this. Suppose um, when I went back, let me change this, hit reset. I don't want December 31st looking back. I'm just going to hit reset. And I'm back to today. Suppose I wanted to see all of my orders that I did for, say, um, SPX. I can just type SPX in this box, hit enter, and of course it looks like nothing happened. That's because I'm only looking back one day. Let's go back, say, um, 30 days. It says I have one canceled. Uh, that's not quite far enough. Let's put in 99 days. Okay, so now I have an actual fill in there. So I can look at my trade history and see what the fill was. You can see it was a vertical roll. I collected 360. Well, a vertical roll, I must have had a position before that. So I need to go back farther. Uh, let's go back, uh, let's say 200. Okay, I got some more in there. So now you can see my original position was here, Iron Condor. I collected this credit. Then uh, I closed the puts for 10 cents, and then I rolled the calls for an additional 360 credit on that. Um, so that's very handy too when you're trying to figure out your um, cost basis, because uh, right now my cost basis on this is 360 plus 250 minus the 10 cents, which makes it about uh, $6. So looking at one individual trade, you can't really tell that, but uh, I collected six dollars uh, on that. So anyway, uh, let's see what else we got here. Profit and loss again. Um, if I wanted to see everything that I traded last year, I can do that same trick again. Um, pick my dates from last year, and it shows me everything that I traded for the previous year. Uh, and here's my account summary and that's about it uh, just one other thing if I wanted to get back to all of my orders not just my SPX um, I have to delete this and then hit enter and now you can see I have 42 orders in there over the past 200 days there's my orders okay so hopefully that uh, that's helpful to you yeah, thanks